All right, welcome back to the channel. So Demetrius Andre joins Terrence Crawford, and this is Canelo Alvarez. Uh, slightly different. This one for cherry picking old men, <laughs> and basically says Demetrius Andrade says that yeah, he's got a very good resume if you look at the names, but if you look at the age and when the fight happens it tells a different story about Canelo. So let's talk about what Demetrius Andrade has to say in this video. All right, welcome back, welcome back. So this is a video that will probably not be taken well by Canelo Alvarez fans. Hey, it is what it is. Demetrius Andrade said what he said, and I'm going to cover it because quite honestly, this is a little, uh, not just a little bit, a lot similar to what just took place with Terrence Crawford when Terrence Crawford said to the media, Canelo Alvarez looks like he's shying away from black fighters. Now, the reaction to Terrence Crawford was, hey, what are you talking about, Terrence? You haven't fought a lot of great black fighters yourself, so why are you saying anything? Well, the answer to that could be that it doesn't matter why he's saying it. You just have to look to see whether or not what Terrence Crawford is saying is true or not, right? If it's true, it's true. If it's not true, it's not true. Doesn't matter what you think of what his record is or what he's done. It only matters what the facts are related to Canelo because that is what you call the subject matter of the argument. However, or not however, in addition, we now have... Demetrius Andrade taking his shots at Canelo and talking about the quality of his opposition and in this particular instance he takes a different angle and he says look yeah if you look at the resume of Canelo Alvarez there's a lot of really good names there's Shane Mosley there's Austin Trout Floyd Mayweather Eris Landy Lara Miguel Cotto Gennady Golovkin right those are the best names Amir Khan is on his list right those are all very high quality fighters. Shane Mosley's a Hall of Famer. Miguel Cotto's a Hall of Famer. Gennady Golovkin's a Hall of Famer. Floyd Mayweather's a Hall of Famer. So when you look down his resume and you say, dang, uh, he's fought really, really good guys. These guys are gonna be in the Hall of Fame. That is a true statement. But what Demetrius Andrade is saying, he's pointing to a truism. Look, different fighters are different fighters at different, career, at different stages in their career. Beating Shane Mosley when Shane Mosley is 40 years old is not the same thing as beating Shane Mosley when he's 26. It's just not. There's years of wear and tear. There's, you know, he at when he was at 20, you know, when he's 26, he's probably still at 147 pounds. Now he's up at 154 fighting guys that are eventually going to fight at 175. So he's just saying it's a different thing. Now, you can point to and people will point to uh, Demetrius Andrade's record and say, well, who have you fought? There's no legit, there's no major wins on your record that I know of, right? So obviously you're not somebody that should be paid attention to Demetrius Andrade. Wrong. Same scenario as with Terrence Crawford. Either what he's saying is true or it's not true. Doesn't matter where it comes from. And by illustration, I'll prove it to you. If Demetrius Andrade cannot say anything about Canelo Alvarez's record because he has not had the fights that Canelo Alvarez has, then there's no boxing journalist in the world that can make any comments about Demetrius Andrade because they have had zero boxing matches in the world and they are, and they are not considered a world champion. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And it's complete red herring just to go send somebody off to start debating what Demetrius Andrade's record is versus just looking at the subject matter of his statement, which was Canelo Alvarez's. So I'm not afraid of the truth. Let's look at it and see if there's any truth to what he said. So I went through and I pulled off the best record, the best fighters, the biggest names on Canelo Alvarez's record since, you know, he came to America. That is pretty much when his competition level rised, right? Once he stopped fighting in Mexico, there's a lot of people on his resume early on when he was fighting as a professional at 16, 17, 18 years old, 
we don't know who those guys are. They are not listed as people who are in, you know, who really have made the resume of Canelo Alvarez. So let's stick to our analysis with the ones, the, the recognized big names on his resume. He has Shane Mosley. He has Austin Trout, Floyd Mayweather, Eris Landy Lara, Miguel Cotto, Gennady Golovkin, and Danny and Daniel Jacobs. Those are the big wins on his career. Uh, and, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Sergey Kovalev, if you want to count Sergey Kovalev, right? Let's look at the age, the, na- the ages of the guys at the time that he fought them. Shane Mosley was 40 years old and Canelo was 22. That's an 18-year age gap between the two of them. And clearly at 40 years old, Shane Mosley is well past his prime. And that's what Demetrius Andrade was saying. In the instance of Austin Trout, not so much. Austin Trout was 27 years old when Canelo was either 22 or 23 years old. They were close in age. That, though, let's stick a pin in it, was a very difficult fight for uh, for Canelo Alvarez. The next guy is Floyd Mayweather Jr. Floyd, even in loss, was 37, which is well past his prime and well outside of a weight division that he started in, which was 130, right? That was when he, when Canelo was 23 and Floyd was, was uh, 37. Then go to Aris Landy Lara. There's a seven-year age difference at least between him and Aris Landy Lara, where Aris Landy Lara was 31 and Canelo Alvarez was 24. Now, in the, in the instance of, of Aris Landy Lara, Two things should be taken in consideration. Number one, he lost that fight. Okay, that's an instance of him fighting a guy within seven years of his age, within, what was it, a seven-year age difference, but still 31, close enough to his prime, right? I still believe Ares Landy Lara at 31 was in his prime. He could have been as old as 33 or 34, though, according to what people say about him, similar to Ife Jogbe, who is listed at 23, but people are like, man, please, that guy's 30. Luis Ortiz, all of the stories about people knocking their age down so that they can look more attractive to promoters. What have you, his listed age is 31. There is a seven age de- difference and there was difficulties in the fight. But there's Aris Landy Lara. Miguel Cotto was 33 and um, and there's a not and Canelo was 24 that's a nine year age difference and that fight again was at 154 two weight classes above where Miguel Cotto started and then there's Gennady Golovkin who was about 35 years old well definitely past his prime at 35 years old with the prime 26 year old Canelo Alvarez and just for the sake of comparison I went and looked to see who what fighters that were close to the same age as Canelo, which which I was like a year older, a year or two older or younger than him, has he fought? The only people that he's fought since he came to the U.S. that were anywhere near, that were close to his own age was Yeldamir, who's 29, Billy Joe Saunders, who's 31, he's gonna fight, and Liam Smith, who was 30, who was, uh, who was 31. And I do believe if I looked that up, that Liam Smith being 31 at the time, oh, excuse me, and Callum Smith, I believe, is 30, is, uh, I believe Callum Smith, yo, yes, Liam Smith is one year older, and Callum Smith, I think, is maybe a year or two uh, younger. But all of these numbers pretty much bear out what, what Demetrius Andre was saying, that the big fights on his resume, that, and the biggest ones are the Shane Mosley, the Miguel Cotto and the Gennady Golovkin one and the Floyd Mayweather. Those are the guys that are the Hall of Famers. Gennady Golovkin, Miguel Cotto, uh, and Floyd Mayweather, and Shane Mosley. When you look at the Hall of Famers, Shane Mosley was 18 years older than him. Floyd Mayweather was 14 years older than them. Miguel Cotto was nine years older than him. And Gennady Golovkin was uh, about nine or 10 years older than him. So... Whether or not you like what Demetrius Andrade has to say or not, the facts bear out. His response to why he hadn't fought it, he's like, look, these guys won't fight me. First of all, there's not those type of guys around in my weight division. 
which is true. And number two, those guys probably wouldn't fight him. Obviously, because neither will Canelo. But that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Peace.